The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. Lee County High School student interns help produce the show under the direction of the Lee County Schools Communication and Production Department. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation and a contributing sponsorship by Hodges University. It's time for another round of the A-Team Challenge. Hi everybody, I'm Robert Van Winkle. Happy to be your host again for 2016. We are continuing our great sponsorship with NBC2, the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools and the Lee County School District. You can watch our games on Comcast Channel 99, also on the internet at leeschools.net. The A-Team Challenge started off this year with 36 high schools, both public and private, from six southwest Florida counties. We're in round one. Uh, the last game, a uh, team moving on was uh, Bishop Verreau. One of these two fine teams will also be moving on again to round two. Students, today we're going to answer questions in the subjects of math, science, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and we have a few general knowledge questions thrown in for good measure. Here are the rules of the A-Team Challenge. For those of you folks watching at home, we had three rounds, five, 10, and 20 point rounds, first, second, and third round. Uh, students remember a couple of things. In the first three rounds, you're to answer individually. Don't pass notes and don't get help from your neighbors. Uh, in the final exam, you'll be working with your alternates as a group to wager as much or as little of your score as you wish and uh, move on or not. Uh, one final reminder, if you answer a question incorrectly in those first three rounds, there's no penalty for that. The other team, though, gets to hear the whole question in its entirety and possibly steal the point. Always a good idea to wait. If you're trying to steal a point, listen to the question. All right, so once again, welcome to two fine high schools here today. On my right, we have uh, Florida Southwestern Collegiate High School in Charlotte County, which from henceforth and now and forevermore will be F. SWC, because it's a lot easier to say. Uh, Florida Southwestern, welcome to you folks. And on my left side, we have Naples High School. Naples High School versus FSWC in Charlotte. All right, students, here we go. First round is about to begin. Put your hands on your buzzers. Get ready to answer and play the A-Team Challenge. First question for five points. One way to have it scored against you is if your offense commits a penalty in your own end zone. Identify... Matthew Naples. Safety. A safety. Identify this fairly rare football occurrence. Five points. Naples starts us off. Name this very long novel by Frenchman Victor Hugo. Made into a smash Broadway. Uh, Celia, FSW. Les Miserables. Les Miserables, the Broadway production. Good job. Five points there. I had some characters to give you to help you out, but you didn't need that. Five points. Ties us up. His principle says that an object in a fluid is buoyed up with a force equal to the weight of the fluid that the object displaces. And Celia's in FSW. Archimedes. Archimedes principle, name the Greek scientist. That's what you got, five points, FSWC. Next for five, in a painting by, I'm sorry, I lost my place. In a painting by French artist Jacques-Louis David, what ancient Greek is seen about to receive a cup with hemlock poison in it. That ancient Greek was Socrates, Socrates. Next question for five. This authority is exercised by the president to keep bills passed by both houses of Congress from becoming law. Name this, Patrick, FSW. Veto. A veto, I want the authority that the president uses to send the laws back to Congress, five points, FSW Charlotte. Next for five, while flying from Sydney, Australia to the United States, you cross what geographic line after which it becomes the previous day? Matthew Naples. The prime meridian. The prime meridian. Can you be more specific? Zero degrees. Nope, not correct. Uh, FSWC. Uh, Olivia. International Dateline. That's what we needed to hear, Olivia. Thing. Um, was that you? Thank you, Olivia. Good job. Five points. <laughs> Whoever it was, you got it right. I heard a voice. Good job. Five points. All right. Next question for five. In the periodic table, some of them separate calcium from zinc. They are more likely to form covalent compounds than alkali or alkali earth metals. Give the common term for the set of metallic elements across the middle of the periodic table whose d orbitals are not totally 
Savannah, Naples. Transition metals? That's it. They're not totally filled with electrons. Transition metals, five points, Naples. Its two main characters must leave their house called Norland Park shortly after their father dies. In the end, those two sisters both end up happily married, one of them to Edward Ferrars. Name this Jane Austen novel that ends shortly after the marriage of Colonel Brandon and Marianne Dashwood. Patrick FSW. Pride and Prejudice? That's a good guess. That's a very good try. I'm sorry, I can't give it to you, though. Naples, you want to give me another one? Give another shot? Chris. Little Women. Nope, not Little Women either. Sense and Sensibility. Sense and Sensibility. All right. For five, give the word that came to English from Greek for anyone who, for example, took part in major athletic contests in 2014. Matthew Naples. Olympian. Olympian in Sochi or in London or coming up in Rio next, uh, this, this year actually. All right, so uh, five points goes to Naples. Next for five, said to be the home of the goddess Pele. It got its Hawaiian name from how often it spews lava. Identify this volcano whose lava from its current eruption that began in 1983 is now beginning to reach homes in part of Hawaii. Matthew, give it a try. Mount Krakatoa. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Good try, FSWC. All right, the, the uh, volcano in Hawaii that I needed to hear was Kilauea. Kilauea. Next question for five. The Oregon Trail follows what Idaho River until it reaches the Columbia River? Chris, Naples. The Snake River. Good job, Chris. Five points, Naples. For five, former U.S. President Calvin Coolidge signed a Citizenship Act granting full U.S. citizenship to all people of what ethnic background? Chris Naples. Chinese? No, sorry, incorrect. FSW Charlotte. Uh, Olivia. Asian? Nope, sorry, incorrect. Maybe overthinking it a bit much. Native Americans, Indians, they automatically got citizenship. All right, next question for five. Its first performance was postponed because of the Prussian siege of Paris, and it kept its costumes from making the boat ride to Africa. Name this Verdi opera, performed on Christmas Eve 1871 in Egypt, that tells of the captain of the Egyptian guard who falls in love and is entombed with an Ethiopian princess. Give it a shot, Savannah. Hello. No, good try, though. I could see you thinking there, though. Uh, FSWC, got a, got a, anybody got a guess? No? It was, uh, no? I'm sorry. It was Aida. Aida was the one. Okay, that ends our first round, and we've got a, a good tight game here. FSW Charlotte at 20, Naples at 20 as well. When we come back, we'll start our 10-point round. But first, I want to introduce you to the players from Florida Southwestern Collegiate in Charlotte. In position number one, this is Olivia, Olivia Palmer, a sophomore, and she would like to go to the University of Florida and become a scientist in the future. Olivia, good luck to you. Also next to Olivia is Havel. Uh, Havel is a sophomore, and she's uh, going to go to the University of South Florida, and she would also like to study science as well. Havel, uh, welcome to you. In the back row, this is Patrick. Patrick Massey is a sophomore on the team. Patrick uh, undecided is where to go to school, but he would like to become an English teacher in the future. There's Patrick. And finally, rounding out the team is Celia. Celia Behrman is the sophomore, also rounding out a full team of sophomores, and she wants to be a physical therapist. All right, so we have Celia, Patrick, Riley, and Olivia, coached by Matt Katanzarite. And boy, did I, do, he's giving me a thumbs up. I must have done it right. Matt Katanzarite at Florida Southwestern Collegiate in Charlotte. When we come back, I'll introduce you to Naples High School, and we'll move on with 10-point round. Good job, students. Give yourself a round of applause. We'll be back. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, my name is Marshall Bauer, and I'm proud to say I'm the Executive Director of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. The Foundation has as its mission engaging the business community and the community at large with our students and teachers in the public school system. Through our many initiatives and programs, 
we enhance and enrich what is already going on in our public school system. The goal in mind is the same goal that the school district has, to make Lee County Public Schools a world-class school system. It is important that the community understand that our students will be competing in a global market. And in order for them to succeed, they need the backing of the entire community. So please reach out to a student, to a teacher, and help the foundation succeed in its mission. Thank you. Welcome back to the A-Team Challenge. It doesn't get much closer than this. We're tied up, FSWC in Charlotte and Naples. I want to make a quick uh, correction before I move on in the introduction. In position number two here, this is Riley. Riley has a first name, and uh, her last name is Havel. But uh, Riley, sorry for <laughs> missing your first name altogether. Thank you very much for being here. As we work our way over to the Naples side, let's introduce you to these players. This is Savannah Irvin. Savannah, in position number one, is a uh, senior this year. She would like to head off to Tufts University and study neuroscience science. Savannah, good luck to you in the future. Next to Savannah is Matthew. Matthew Regala is a senior and he wants to go to Georgia Tech and to study mechanical engineering. Jonathan Theobald is in the back. Jonathan is a senior this year. Hi, Jonathan. Wants to go to Boston College and study biology and economics. And rounding out the team is Chris. Chris Davis is a junior and would like to study engineering in the future. So Chris, Jonathan, Matthew, and Savannah under the coaching of Debbie Bartlett Cantor at Naples High School. All right, students, here we go. Ten-point round. Put your hands on your buzzers. And we will start off with a math question on the screen. You can take a look. I'll read it. You get going. Three consecutive multiples of seven have a sum of 336. Give the largest of those three numbers. Folks at home, we have a few extra seconds that we allow the students for math questions. We also provide them with pencil and paper and a calculator. All right, Matthew's in Naples. What'd you get? 55. I oh, know that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That a boy. Well, that's a, that's a good try. I don't know if you heard that at home. He said 55, but I know it's wrong. I used to, that's how I did all my math questions, believe me. Nope, that's not correct. Uh, you're, you're right about that. Uh, FSWC, quick, quick. All right. Uh, the answer was 119. Was that on there anywhere? Matthew? Oh, now he says yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's okay. No points, no harm, no foul. Next question for 10. Its constitution in the early 1900s allowed the U.S. the right to intervene in its affairs for the preservation of independence. Name this Caribbean nation where, Patrick, FSW. Cuba. Cuba, that's correct, where the U.S. still has a military base at Guantanamo Bay. Tw uh, ten points, FSWC. Next for ten. Ernest Hemingway's book, Death in the Afternoon, is set in Spain and discusses what popular Spanish sport Olivia, FSW? Uh, soccer here, football there. Nope, sorry, good try though. Naples? Chris? Bullfighting? Yeah, bullfighting, that's the, that's the Spanish sport. Uh, 10 points for Naples. Next for 10. It is defined by the U.S. government as an intense warm ocean current that moves along Jonathan Naples. El Nino? No, that's, that's a really good guess though. That's not what I needed to hear though. Uh, for FSW, I'll finish the question. It moves along the coast of Florida and then turns off North Carolina's coast, flowing northeast into the Atlantic. Give the two word term for the fast moving flow of water. And Celia's in, FSW. Riptide? No, not Riptide, it's the Gulf Stream. You probably got that after I finished that question, didn't you? Yeah. All right, so that's okay, no harm, no foul there. Next question for 10. A recent study shows that, rec that regular sunlight helps keep overfed mice from gaining more weight. Thus, scientists hope that sunlight can help people whose blood sugar levels are affected by what ailment? Usually tied to overeating and lack... Celia, FSW. Diabetes. Yeah, lack of exercise that increases the body's resistance to insulin. 10 points, FSW. Next for 10. Many states have now decided to officially use part or all of its standards in their schools. Give this two-word term for ed, uh, Olivia. Oh, sorry. Wait, go ahead. Common Core? Yes, that's the two-word term I need for uh, 
uh, detailing what students should know. Common Core, FSWC, 10 points for you. Next for 10. It can refer to a variety of fish whose adult varieties all have both eyes on one side of its head. Give this nine-letter word that can also mean to make a clumsy attempt to regain balance. Patrick, FSW. Flounder. Flounder, yep. I had a couple more examples there, but you got it. Ten points, FSWC. Next question for ten. He is now a chef at large for the New York Bistro, where he was once the executive chef. Name this TV cook, Matthew Naples. Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, Anthony Bourdain, called the CNN series Parts Unknown, and he's wrapping up his uh, Travel Channel series, No Reservations. Ten points for Naples. What Ray Bradbury story, Bradbury story, uh, Chris Naples? Fahrenheit 451. Yeah, you kind of, if you know it, you get it right from the name. Gets its name from the temperature at which paper catches fire, Fahrenheit 451. Uh, Ten points, Naples. One feature of Gothic architecture is the flying type of what object? Chris Naples. Gargoyle. <clears throat> nope, sorry, that's a really good try. FSW, here's the rest of the question. What object supports the walls of the building? Patrick, buttress. W. Oh, sorry, buttress. Say again? Buttress. The buttress. The flying buttress. Good example of Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Ten points, FSWC. Next question for ten. He wrote the book, Administration on the Eve of Rebellion. Name this Pennsylvania native who served as president until Savannah Naples. Ben Franklin? No, sorry. Good try, though, FSWC. He served as president until being defeated by Abraham Lincoln. Patrick. Uh, Buchanan? Yep, that's the one. Ten points for FSWC. And now the score is Charlotte at 80 and Naples at 50. We have a very tight game going here. Next round, each question was worth 20 points. Come back. We'll see how we do then. We'll be right back. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The A-Team Challenge. A major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. All right, this is our most exciting round of the 18 Challenge. Each question now worth 20 points, so a couple of questions answered correctly can really send the scores flying. Here we go, students, hands on your buzzers, and for 20 points. The Pakistani province of Baluchistan is a great place to hunt the Hobara Bustard. If you're hunting, or if you're into hunting, as the Saudi royal family is, what kind of creature is the Hubara Bustard, a creature usually hunted down by falcons? Chris Naples. A rabbit? Nope, not a rabbit. FSWC. Olivia. A snake? Nope, those are two very good guesses. I needed to hear a bird, though. That's all right. Next question for 20. The proteins that make up the enzymes it needs to do its job are created in the rough endoplasmic reticulum and then synthesized into enzymes in the Golgi apparatus. Name this cell organelle that performs digestion. Jonathan Naples. Mitochondria? Nope, not the mitochondria. Good try, FSWC. Olivia. Lysosome? Yeah, that's the one. 20 points. FSW. Next for 20. Its town of Westminster was almost the first in the United States to ban the sale of tobacco, but it gave up the idea for fear that smokers would just drive 25 miles to the north to New Hampshire to buy tobacco there. Identify this state where Westminster is west of the city of Boston. Chris Naples. Massachusetts. Massachusetts is correct. 20 points. Naples. Another math question is going to pop up on your screen. You may start working. A right circular cone has a radius of 5 inches and a slant height of 9. In terms of pi, give the surface area of the cone. Once again, a few extra seconds. Go to the students. Calculators, paper, pencil, all working. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was, I had a little bit of effort to it, didn't it? Uh, 70 pi was the answer, 70 pi. All right, next question for 20. Its website says that part of it traces its lineage to the Manhattan Project effort to develop the atomic bomb during World War II. Today, it tries to keep the country's power grid from disruption or breakdown. Name this cabinet department. Matthew, Naples. The Department of Energy. Yep, good job. 20 points, Naples. Next for 20. It can mean to move in a circle around something or a periodically repeated sequence of events. I want you to give this five-letter word that also means both to single, double, triple, and homer in the same baseball game and to ride a bike. Jonathan, Naples. Cycle. Cycle, that's it. 20 points, Naples. Next for 20. Most Americans who need an organ transplant need this specific organ that is connected to your bladder. Jonathan, Naples. Kidney. Yep, name the organ when working properly filters the body's wastes. Kidney, 20 points, Naples. Dipper Mouth Blues and What a Wonderful World were hit songs performed by what gravel-voiced Matthew Naples? Louis Armstrong. Yeah, that's the trumpeter of the 1900s, Sachmo, Louis Armstrong, 20 points, Naples. He is the subject of the movie Citizen Four, which gets its title from the alias used by this man, Matthew Naples. Edward Snowden. Yeah, name the American citizen wanted in the U.S. for disclosing secrets. And uh, 20 points goes to Naples for that answer. Good job. He played the blind Starfleet officer Geordi LaForge in Star Trek The Next Generation. He recently appeared on Kickstarter.com to get funding for an updated version of a previous major project that won him 12 Emmys. Name this actor and former host of the PBS series Reading Rainbow. LeVar Burton, LeVar Burton. Next question, what classic 19th century novel about slavery in the South tells of George and Eliza and little Ava? Celia, FSW. Uncle Tom's Cabin. Good job, 20 points, FSW. Next for 20, another math question. You look, look, look at your screens. 80% of the hens on a farm each lay one egg per day. How many dozen eggs does the farmer get each day if the farm has 360 hens? Chris is in first from Naples. 24. 24, that's the proper response. 20 points to Naples, 24 dozen. Next for 20, for 20 points. Uh, to mark the 70th anniversary of its liberation from fascism, one of the underground bunkers used by its prime minister, Benito Mussolini. Chris, Naples. Italy. Italy, I want you to name the country, that's correct, 20 points, Naples. Next for 20, give the most common English translation of the French verb vivre. Chris, Naples. Live. Live is correct, vivre in Spanish, leben in German, and to live is your right response, 20 points under the gun to Naples. All right, we still have a, a, a pretty tight game here. Now you can see a lot's gonna depend on wagers, so think about it carefully. Uh, students, the final subject is Math. We've had a lot of math today, and we're going to have even more in our final exam. When we come back, we'll find out who moves on to round two. Good job, guys. Really good job. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. 
And we are in the concluding round of the A-Team Challenge today. I want to thank both of these teams, uh, Florida Southwestern Collegiate and Charlotte County, Naples High School. Really nice, uh, nice players here and, and a good game today. You might notice some uh, additional faces on both sides. Let me introduce you to the alternates. On our uh, FSWC side, we have Camilla Arias. Camilla, give us a wave so we know which one is which. She's a sophomore, wants to go to the University of Florida, study ethology and animal rehabilitation. Good for you. And in the back there in the middle, this is Casey. Casey Rayfield, also a sophomore, would like to head to the University of Florida and become a doctor. Good for you. And on this side, we have Dylan, Dylan Finnegan. Dylan is a junior this year, going to USF and then eventually to Stetson Law School. Dylan, thank you for being part of the team as well. All right, a math question. I think these students had their share of math questions today. Don't you agree? Yeah, they're shaking their heads. Here it is. This is what they're looking, uh, what, what they've been working on. We want the answers to be as an integer. The difference between the fourth root of 625, the cube of 64, the product of the cube, of, cube root of 512 and the fifth root of 32, and the third one, we need the quotient of the cube root of 10 to the 6th divided by the square root of 5 to the 4th. I don't know. I think those are pretty straightforward. You do need to know what you're doing. Here are the answers that I need to see. Uh, 1, which is 5 minus 4, 16, 8 times 2, and 4, 100 divided by 25. FSWC, I've got your answer sheet here. You came in to the final round with 120 points. Your answers are 1, 16, and 4. You did perfectly well there. How much did you wager? 120 points. That brings you up to 240. You did exactly what you needed to do. Now let's see if Naples gets it right. Naples, the answers you gave are 1, 16, and 4. You did that right. You wagered 11 points. That gets you to 241 by a margin of one point. Naples High School moves on. As I said, two fine schools. Let's give Naples, though, a big hand. Good job. <laughs> Off you go. FSWC, thank you for making the trip down from Charlotte County. Please stand up and shake each other's hands. Thanks for watching the 18 Challenge. Good job.